here, by the way, here is the uh, impeachment schedule that looks like currently. There's going to be a four-hour debate and vote on the trial constitutionality. And then after that, there's going to be a 16-hour presentation per uh, side. And then four hours for questions, followed by the debate and a vote to call witnesses. And then finally, four hours of closing arguments. Now, that's why it's going to take a long time. This is going to be like a week-long process. It's not going to be a day or two days. It's going to be a little bit longer than that. So, but... Today is uh, about the constitutionality and whether it's constitutionally intact or not, whether you can actually impeach a president for doing an insurrection, for causing an uprising, and also can you actually impeach a president who is no longer a, uh, a, a sitting president. And it's bullshit because, yes, it is, of course, completely constitutional. Is there a point to this impeachment? We all know what's going to happen. All the Democrats are going to vote A and the Republicans with maybe a few coming over, but not enough. And they aren't going to get the votes to keep him from running again. Just because something is unlikely should not prevent you from doing it, especially if you believe in the institutions. And if you believe that like these institutions should have some form of legitimacy. And if you believe that like it should be on the record that Democrats at the very least tried to do the bare minimum, which is literally trying to impeach this person and then moving it on to the Senate, regardless of how demon-like the Republican Party is going to be, you shouldn't stop yourself. You should, one, absolutely push for uh, the impeachment uh, and, and make an argument to as to why you should. And you should also apply public pressure on top of that to truly campaign behind uh, forcing this impeachment conviction. And the reason why you absolutely should do that is because you have to completely exert and exhaust every avenue you have in these sorts of situations in order to prevent a worse situation happening overall in the future, right? If you don't want, uh, if you don't want another insurrection as president, then at the very least, you should have a clear cut precedent now, well established that like, well, uh, this president, president Donald Trump at the time, uh, tried to, uh, tried to push for an insurrection and he got impeached for it. So you can't do that. That might not be completely effective in the long run. It probably won't be. Whoever is uh, going to be the actual fascist and not just a proto-fascist like Donald Trump is just narcissistic is going to say, fuck off. I don't give a shit. Uh, whatever. Martial law declared. Fuck you. But that should not prevent you from setting up yet another hurdle to make it as hard as possible for people to do uh, these sorts of things in the future. I think the reason why you do something like this is to make sure that the state machinations are still at some level enforcing accountability. Whether it's bullshit accountability or not, it doesn't matter. All right, let's start. So here are some highlights of what we saw already. Their argument is that if you commit an impeachable offense in your last few weeks in office, you do it with constitutional impunity. He's right. I mean, that's that's basically what the Republicans are saying. Basically, what the Republicans are saying is like, you know, it's called God mode. In the end of your lame duck session or in the end of your uh, presidency in general, especially in the end of your lame duck session, you have what is known as God mode where you can do whatever the fuck you want and because, you know, they previously argued that the presidents can't be fucking, it's, a, it's like a double buy where you can't be criminally charged with anything while you're president. Also, you can't really be impeached because there isn't time to impeach you. So, you know, the last week of your presidency, you can do whatever the fuck you want, okay? And, and that's hilarious because if there's one thing that the motherfucking framers cared about, it was tyranny, right? Like, that is the, the mythological argument that those who have sex with the constitution make all the time oh this is all about tyranny this is all about pushing this is all about pushing against tyranny and it's like well there is nothing more tyrannical than literally allowing the president to do whatever the fuck they want and tell people that it is actually constitutional for them to do whatever the fuck they want as long as it is in the tail end of their administration and then they had a really long fucking video clips uh, session that i watched but there's a lot of stuff that's graphic in it so i'm not going to go over it again but you've already seen the videos like hog insurrection gone sexual oops you know social experiment tried to get uh, all my followers to storm the capital gone sexual that sort of thing like basically that was the that was what it was, it was hogs gone wild at least 10 people lost their lives more than 140 law enforcement officers suffered physical injuries and many more have been severely impacted by the experiences that day oh no i'm so sad about the law enforcement officers that were severely impacted here's donald trump who uh, had an opinion on impeaching past presidents after they are uh, out of office by the way i got to show you this while i go grab a drink real quick we are defending your right to keep the doctor and to keep your plan remember president obama you can keep your plan you can keep 28 times you can keep your doctor 
That didn't turn out very good. We should impeach him for that. Why are we impeaching him 28 times? You can keep your doctor. We should impeach President Obama. Democrats are now the party of high taxes, high crime, open borders, late-term abortion, socialism, and blatant corruption. The Republican Party is the party of the American worker, the American family, the American dream, and the late, great Abraham Lincoln, right? Abraham Lincoln. I love that he makes the argument that you should be able to, you should be able to impeach a president after their uh, term is done. For what? For what reason? Lying. And then immediately after he's like, Obama lied, so we should impeach him. He turns around and starts lying immediately, which is hilarious. We should impeach presidents for lying. And then literally in the same breath starts lying. God, I miss him so much. I miss him so much. Like he was such a piece of shit. I wish there was a way to like contain him so that uh, his words didn't actually have impact and we could just look at him like uh, performance art. Kind of like Alex Jones, the, the almost the exact same opinion I have of Alex Jones, where Alex Jones is a, is a brilliant content creator, right? But unfortunately, in a country as fucked as the United States of America, Alex Jones is seen as the leader of a movement. He's seen as a revolutionary. People take him seriously. And that's why we can't have nice things. That's why we can't fucking look and laugh and enjoy Alex Jones because some of the people that listen to Alex Jones then turn around and do crimes like harassing, doxing, and harming victims of school shootings and their family members. The same with Donald Trump, where he's like, he's a very entertaining reality TV star. He's narcissistic. He, he embodies everything that makes good TV. He embodies everything that makes good content. But also, people take him seriously, and even more seriously than Alex Jones, because he literally had the bully pulpit. And therefore, they end up doing gross acts of violence and horrific things as they follow his lead. I love this because it's so bad. Like, the guy is so clearly unprepared that people started speculating whether or not they knew that he was supposed to speak on the first day. And secondly, Alan Dershowitz and numerous other like Trump side commentators and, and figures from the Trump universe have started criticizing the guy already asking, uh, not the impeachment manager, manager, sorry, Trump's uh, defense. Uh, there are Trump cinematic universe individuals that are literally going on news shows for the right to say the fucking defense is so trash, you need to fire this guy immediately. It's great. And yes, Bruce Casters. I fucked up by saying about, right? manager. I should have said defense. Of what Trump's defense. Trump was saying. To the people who are saying the defense is so bad because there is no defense, that has never stopped Republicans ever. Republicans rely heavily on aesthetics because, for their point of view, it's all grievance politics, right? Like there is no material argument you can make as a Republican. You can't literally be like. No, actually, corporations should be able to literally fucking own every facet of your life and you should be enslaved to them for the rest of your lives. No, they can't say that. So they have to literally focus on the grievance and the aesthetics. Like they have to be like, oh, liptards will call you fucking racist. That's why you need to vote for us. Which is precisely why, while they make idiotic arguments all the time, they have to do it with uh, appropriate aesthetics. And here, Bruce Kastler is not putting on a strong front. And that's precisely why this is uniquely bad. And that's why even Ted Cruz has criticized uh, the defense. And Trump, more importantly than anything else, Trump is a guy that loves the aesthetics. That's why he fucking got mad at Rudy Giuliani, of all people, right? Because when Rudy Giuliani was defending Donald Trump, he did a fucking piss poor job, not only because it was indefensible, but also because he was like fucking all over the place. Like he was sweating and, and he just looked bad, you know, nipples protruding disgraceful, disrespectful, that sort of thing. For what is worth, the Trump uh, advisor tells me Caster's intentionally trying to reduce the emotion in the room here. after the in House essence, manager's case, calls it a deliberative strategy. Space to what? Wait, I was just joking about that yesterday. That's their actual strategy? Oh my God. Does anyone have the clip? Yesterday, I literally said like, what are they trying to fucking kill the senators uh, by boring them to death? And that's actually their fucking defense. But Trump himself is furious with this. Mr. Caster, the first to speak, Delivered a rambling, almost somnambulant defense. What the fuck is that word, dude? Holy shit. Defense of the former president for nearly an hour, Mr. Trump, who often leaves television on in the background, even when he's holding meetings, was furious. Somnambulant sleep? It means sleepwalking? Rudy Giuliani has white boy swag. Disagree. Uh, 
What are you fucking talking about? Who did you fucking Giuliani is Italian? He's not fucking white. That's why he's got the fucking swag. He's got the swagoo. Anyway, oh, here's me. And after... Does he think he can filibuster the process like a fucking... Like a, like a senator? Like, he's just like, maybe if I keep talking, they'll get so bored that they'll fucking die. I'm gonna run the clock out until some of these fucking senators die. They're really old. We're just gonna keep going. <laughs> Until some of these fucking, some of these senators die of, of being bored, dude. I mean, I was making a joke. I didn't realize that, like, that is actually what they're going with. First of all, I think the Democrats, as the party of Hollywood, uh, did a great job putting together a video and then managed to convince us that this was... Yeah, dude, it's the Democrats who are fucking drama queens. Thank you, Newt. Oh, God, I hate him so much. It was a vote about whether or not January 6th was intolerable, unacceptable, uh, and outrageous as opposed to something about Donald Trump. Well, everybody is going to say, I think, that this was a totally unacceptable uh, riot and that everybody who was engaged in So, But the Democrats very cleverly switched what... Good editing on the, on the Fox team. Great job. The topic was. Second, uh, I don't think I've ever seen as bad a defense team uh, as the president sent up, but I have no idea what they thought they were doing. Uh, they, they, wow. There's a good case to be made. I thought they were going to make it. And I, I think it's amazing that they only lost one Republican, given the absolute lack of a coherent defense. Even fucking Newt. When, when Newt Gingrich is shitting on you, dude, you're fucking, you're done. I mean, when Ted Cruz shits on you, you're fucking done. Haven't heard These guys eat dog shit for a living and fucking say things are good regardless, just because a, a Republican is saying it. When those guys are fucking uh, off your case, when they're not defending you, you are fucked, my friend. I have to pee so bad. Hold on, I'll be back. Anyway, Snopes fact check Nickelodeon. Yeah, it's not real. It's a fucking meme. Impeachment of President Donald Trump, president accused of inciting insurrection. And then Bruce Castor gets slimed. Like, obviously, Nickelodeon didn't do that. Anyway, let's get started. Uh, today is impeachment day three. Anyway, let's get to uh, the impeachment trials. Anything good that happened? Does anyone have like some uh, fucking clips or anything they want me to look at from this so far? There's the new Capitol riot footage from yesterday that everybody wanted me to watch. They were like, dude, you have to watch this. This is so fucking pog. New Capitol riot footage just dropped. Bro, you have to watch it. Here, we'll watch this. This is the new shit. Pay attention to the first group of assailants as they break into the building. The second man through the window is wearing full tactical body armor. <laughs> like, like, this is so great. Breaking in as a patriot into uh, the Capitol building while holding a Confederate flag. And in his worldview, he's like literally the real patriot. You can't make it up. This is why comedy will never top this, by the way. Because Republicans and Americans in general are just a sea of contradictions. And nothing is more contradicting than thinking you're a fucking patriot while breaking into the Capitol, waving a fucking treasonous, secessionist, terrorist fucking flag of a movement that lasted four fucking years around trying to unsuccessfully defend states' rights to own slaves. There is nothing more ridiculous than waving that fucking flag as you storm the Capitol while thinking you are the real patriot and you're going against the fucking uh, people who hate America. On the left hand side. There's people at my work who are still saying it's Antifa. Dude, I don't know what to do with those people. Like, fuck those people, I guess. Like, there's just no saving that. Like, there's no salvage in that situation. There is no saving those hogs. You, you, you just hope that one day they like, I don't know have a life-changing event or something and accidentally see the truth. Because how else are you going to get someone who watches people follow the direct orders of Donald Trump, the Republican media apparatus, and the Republican Party's like most famous individuals directly follow everything they've communicated while waving all of the fucking Trump flags and Confederate flags on top of that screaming, we love Donald Trump and make America great again. You, you see all of that. You see people telegraphing that they are Trump supporters and you still say, no, -uh, I don't believe it. They must be Antifa. It's done. There's nothing to do to that for that person. Conservatives think this shit is overblown while simultaneously petitioning to cancel Arthur because there's a gay rat in one of the episodes. So come on. And I'm not saying that like liberals aren't fucking snowflakes and leftists aren't snowflakes. Like they certainly are. There are snowflake weirdos in my community too. No, not Pete Buttigieg. Like there's literally a, a whatever. How is it's never happened a good defense for Trump? 
I mean, it's just anything at this point. It's like fucking children throwing shit at the wall and hoping it sticks, okay? IRL streamers are getting representation in Congress baked the last day in today's. Oh no, that's fucking gnarly, really? Thursday installment of Trump's impeachment trial begins with a baked Alaska clip. Let's call Trump, yes! Yeah, let's call Dude! Him. Yeah. Dude, let, let, let's tell Trump what's up. Trump would be very upset. Kanye'd be like, no, just say we love him. We love you, bro. No, he'll be happy. What do you mean? We're fighting for Trump. This impeachment is completely divorced from the facts, the evidence, and the interests of the American people. The Senate should promptly and decisively vote to reject it. No thinking person could seriously believe that the president's January 6th speech on the ellipse was in any way an incitement to violence or insurrection. The suggestion is patently absurd on its face. Nothing in the text could ever be construed as encouraging, condoning. Yeah. When Donald Trump was saying you got to do something and you got to fight and you got to fight hard to take back your country and that like this election was stolen from us, probably knowing full well that it wasn't actually stolen from him at all. Uh, and that, uh, you know, you got to do something about it and then setting up a rally and then inciting a riot in that rally and then watching that rally's uh, riot unfold and then literally still agitating from Twitter to the degree that like he actually had to be banned because the ongoing ongoing hog insurrection was occurring and he was still like, yeah, hey, keep fighting, but like, you know, go home. Republican but also, Republican. I love you. What you're doing is great. What am I doing? Why am I doing an Italian accent there? Fuck. I that stuff was totally just uh, random and uh, unrelated to the actions that happened immediately after and also during, depending on what you're looking at, depending on you're looking at his fucking tweets. Love. Or enticing unlawful activity of any kind. Instead of expressing a desire that the joint session be prevented from conducting its business, the entire premise of his remarks was that the democratic process would and should play out according to the letter of the law, including both the Constitution and the Electoral Count Act. In the conclusion of his remarks, he then laid out a series of legislative steps that should be taken to improve democratic accountability going forward, such as passing universal voter ID legislation, banning ballot harvesting, requiring proof of citizens. Yeah, that's what they were doing, actually. Donald Trump, when he said, like, you know, go fight like hell, uh, they'll never, they'll never, we should never concede for a month after the election was over. He actually was just talking about like, you know, adding additional restrictions on who can uh, vote and, and uh, all that. He, he wasn't just saying like literally when he did it specifically on January 6th and said January 6th is going to be our final, you know, showdown. He was actually just talking about like our final showdown to ensure that voter security measures are implemented. You know, that was that was what was going on. Does anyone have like the, the a better compy over here than this one because i was looking at this and there were some really really good moronic fucking clips god i love when old people do clip compilations it's so great donald trump who i may well be voting to impeach donald trump has already done a number of things which legitimately raised the question of impeachment i don't okay again that is not the same thing and also it's literally true donald trump did do things immediately that would demand impeachment. Most American presidents do, but definitely Donald Trump. I don't respect this president, and I will fight every day. Until also, here is one other wonderful thing. Saying someone deserves to be impeached comes along with the implication that they have recognized that that person is the president, which the Democrats always did. The Democrats always recognized Donald Trump as the president. They said, Donald Trump is not my president, as in, he does not represent my interest. There is no both sides here. I mean, Democrats are fucking silly gooses. They're feckless cowards. I love the shit on them. They're also running defense for the institutions that uh, end up oppressing the working poor, certainly. But in this circumstance, there is no both sides. You can't fucking both sides this. Especially because in the aftermath of Donald Trump's electoral victory, you didn't have fucking riots in the Capitol and Hillary Clinton supporters didn't murder people. That same hatred and anger has led House... That's the real hatred and anger, folks, was the most impeachable 
president. Also, Donald Trump has literally talked about impeaching Obama three or four years into his presidency. He was running on the notion that like we should impeach Barack Obama post presidency. So like this notion that that is inflammatory rhetoric is so right. fucking psychotic because we live in a world where at least most people still remember, I don't know, 10% of the things that Donald Trump has said on any given day. Just because his Twitter account is gone now doesn't mean that we don't remember the shit that Donald Trump said literally every fucking day. If you consider that to be inflammatory rhetoric to say this person should be impeached, if you consider that to be inflammatory rhetoric, then what do you say about Donald Trump's rhetoric on any given day? Managers to ignore their own words and actions and set a dangerous double standard. The House managers spoke about rhetoric, about a constant drumbeat of heated language. Well, as I'm this actually, this like free speech argument unironically ties into the Gina Castor or whatever the fuck story as well. Because everyone is so stupid about free speech. No one is a fucking free speech absolutist, okay? There's like three people on the planet that are legitimately free speech absolutists. And, uh, and, and that's it. It's like, it's Noam Chomsky and, and maybe sometimes Glenn Greenwald and like three other fucking people. There is no like legitimate free speech absolutism. It, it does not exist. And it's crazy. Everyone, straight up everyone, should just admit like, I don't have a principled stance on free speech. It's just like, what was the Supreme Court decision on, on pornographic material declared far too um, obscene? I'll know it when I see it. Yeah, that's it. That's, that's how free speech works. I'm sorry to explain this to you guys over and over again, but that is precisely, yeah, obscenity laws, exactly. That is precisely how free speech works for the most part. Lol, so it is constitutional. I'll know it when I see it is unironically constitutional when it comes to obscenity, but also beyond that is exactly how everyone operates on free speech. I don't know why people fucking hey, make it I seem as though it's, it's, it's any different. Throughout. Sure, everyone ex watching expected, we need to show you some of their own words. I, I, I just don't even know why there aren't uprisings all over the country, and maybe there will be. There needs to be unrest in the streets for as long as there is unrest in our lives. You've got to be ready to throw a punch. Well, you have to be ready to throw a punch. Donald Trump, I think you need to go back and, and punch him in the face. That I thought he should have punched him in the face. I feel like punching him. I I'd like to take him behind the gym if I were in high school. If we were in high school, I'd take him behind the gym. And oh, this is awesome. Oh, this is awesome. Oh, this is great. They're saying they're saying that these fucking pussies want to actually out. physically fight Donald Trump by clip chimping people in between conversations. Really? This is the exact same thing. Well, guess what? No one fucking acted on it. OK, there you go. Beat the hell out of him. No, I wish you were in high school. I could take him behind the gym. I will go and take Trump out to every fucking every fucking tiny same. brain dipshit is going to look at this and be like, yes, yeah. Yes! Arrest these people! Yeah, Maxine Waters wants to fucking kill Donald Trump with her hands. Also, again, completely irrelevant to the matter at hand. You can't... Let's say there is a court... You're in Listen, court. There is a trial going on because you robbed the bank. You can't turn around and make a defense about how, well, you know, Johnny robbed the bank or uh, Johnny actually uh, evades his taxes. So me robbing this bank currently is now irrelevant why what are you going to do about johnny uh, evading taxes wow you guys are so hypocritical okay open up a separate case for that then but that's not how the law works that's not how it works in this circumstance and while the impeachment trial is a symbolic one and it's it's a political one and it's not actually what do you call it it's not actually like a like a real court proceeding they're not going to donald trump's not going to jail unfortunately it doesn't work that way i bet they hired an intern to make sick memes for evidence night take him out now okay. when was the last time an actor assassinated a president they're still gonna have to go out and put a bullet in donald trump show me where it says that protests are supposed to be polite and peaceful i have thought an awful lot about blowing up the white house please <laughs> Get up in the face of some Congress people. People will do what they do. I think it'd be pretty funny if they launched a countersuit or something and actually arrested these people, though, because that'd be pretty funny. Like, be honest. Like, it's just Madonna and Johnny Depp, especially with this music. Guys, guys, with this music, I'm starting to get a little scared. I don't know. Uh, FBI, right here. They're right here. Regardless, though, completely unimportant to this particular 
case there has never been a situation in which you can just be like well other people got away with it why can't we that's not how you defend yourself that's how children defend themselves about blowing up the white house uh-huh but i know thanks to madonna that this won't change anything we cannot what that's crazy. What? Wait a minute. I thought this was just about her contemplating to blow up the fucking White House, dude. That's so weird. What? You, you mean to tell me that the Republican defense strategy is literally anal blaster 69 Sorry, on the fucking lsf subreddit like literally this is lsf clip chip shit dude the real world is far too stupid for me to cover I'm sorry. There is no fucking way. There's no way you could look at this and be like, what a reasonable approach here. You know what? Thank God the Republican Party has their shit together. And remember, folks, this impeachment is an olive branch to the Republicans. Okay? Yes, it is an enforcement of accountability. Some sort of accountability is good to have in this situation. It's good to have this in the history books so that there is somewhat of a precedent. Oh, they're showing a new the montage? Of President okay, let's watch Trump. this. That. The point I was going to say, no, before I do that, the point I was going to say is it's an olive branch. This impeachment is supposed to be an opportunity for the Republicans to say we're different. Uh, we're different than this. Donald Trump does not represent us. Yes, he's violent and he's not. He doesn't represent us. Honestly, Donald Trump should have just uh, called up Dream yes. and got his fucking astrophysicist guy to do his defense because that dude did a way better job of defending Dream than this motherfucker's doing with Donald Trump. And robust investigation into the lack of signature verification for mail-in and absentee ballots. Let us be clear, this trial is about far more than President Trump. It is about silencing oh God, and banning haircut. the speech oh, ew, the majority does Cruz. not ew. agree with. It is about canceling 75 million Trump voters and criminalizing political bro i can't do this i'm sorry i, I gotta move on from this I i'll look at the trump uh, like video compilations maybe a little bit more but like i can't do this they're literally saying it's cancel culture everything i said as a joke the first day of the fucking trial has come out to be the legitimate defense i said is he running out the fucking clock to really bore people next day they come out and they say yeah actually um Trump's lawyer was running out the clock to make this as boring as possible. I said, are they going to say this is actually cancel culture? Come on, they can't go that far. They're literally doing it. They're saying that this is cancel culture. I'm losing my fucking mind. It is absolutely pathetic, dude. How the fuck do you get away with this? There was another really incredible defense that the Trump team put forward, which is that here, let's just, let's just hear well, the lawyer developed say it. Over the years to clearly Three. establish elected officials have the right to engage in protected speech. Mr. Trump is not just a guy on the street or a guy at a bar or a fire chief or Stop a police officer. There were a few of them in there. All analogies given by the House managers. These sideways analogies are wrong. Mr. Trump was an Let elected official and there is an entire body of law, Supreme Court landmark cases, so Guys, when you're an American, you have constitutionally protected free speech. When you're a president, you have extra free speech. And the more the president you are, the freer your speech is. According the By the way, this is completely incorrect. One, that's not a real thing. And two, it's the opposite. When you're the fucking president, you have less free speech, not more, dumbass, especially in an impeachment trial. You could literally be impeached for something that would never, ever in a million years throw you in jail as a president there is no free speech protection when it comes down to impeachment processes it is fucking idiotic it is not a good argument for example if someone said and i use it all the time the fucking n-word okay that is still it's hate speech but it's still free speech protected by the constitution if the president on the other hand said it in a public sentiment and not in like uh i'm reciting tom sawyer or some shit like straight up called black people the n-word that is reasonable to fucking impeach them like you can absolutely fucking impeach a president over that regardless of whether or not it is protected speech by the constitution do you understand the conclusion that mr trump actually has enhanced 
free speech rights because he is an elected official. The law is developed. All right, this shit is boring as fuck. Uh, Trump has extra uh, speech, extra freedom of speech, as we were saying. Developed. Another incredible argument from the defense team, uh, uh, the brilliant minds over at the Trump defense team, was that, uh, well, Donald Trump can't have incited a riot uh, or an insurrection because he loves law and order. Why does he love law and order? Well, listen to all the times that he said law and order. And honoring the men and women of law enforcement. Contrast the president's repeated condemnations of violence with the rhetoric from his opponents. I am your president of law and order and an ally of all peaceful protesters. The vast majority of the, of the protesters have been peaceful. Republicans stand for law and order and we stand for justice. I just don't even know why there aren't uprisings all over the country, and maybe there will be. My administration will always stand against violence, mayhem, and disorder. There needs to be unrest in the streets for as long as there is unrest in our lives. I stand with the heroes of law enforcement. Fucking owned, dude. I'm sorry. I know we're in the Nuremberg trials, but uh, we were simply actually following the orders. I mean, if you say you love the law, then uh, what do you mean? I mean, that's, uh, that's foolproof. Just because someone says fucking law and order doesn't mean that they legitimately care about law and order. What the fuck are you talking about, dude? Do they think this is an election because that's just a political attack ad? I mean, they just, that's all they know, man. They, <laughs> all Republicans know is cut fucking uh, clip chimp videos, uh, cut video with Hans Zimmer and scoring, eat hot chip and lie. Watch this Komodo dragon turn out to be an insurrectionist and we'll need to revote. Yeah. yeah. Guys, I heard the Komodo dragon is actually, um, is, uh, anti-vaxxer. So, uh, I'm afraid we're gonna have to go, <laughs> I'm afraid we're gonna have to go back to the drawing board here, okay? Sorry, guys. Yeah. Yeah, you didn't know. It's fine.